Meadow Vista Farms is a dairy farm located in Bainbridge, Pennsylvania, operated by the Risser family. The farm has 650 acres in crop production, which is all corn, and 850 dairy cows producing milk. This number of cows produces a lot of solid and liquid animal waste, which must be properly stored and managed in order to avoid surface water and groundwater contamination. The cows at Meadow Vista are milked three times a day. Every time they go to be milked, their lane is flushed with several hundred gallons of water. That water exits the barn and is sent into one of three manure storage lagoons. This is the lane where the solid and liquid waste exit the barn and head toward the lagoons. In the first lagoon, most of the solids settle out and then as it fills with solid and liquids, the liquid waste overflows into lagoons number two and three. This isn't the best smelling part of the farm, however, it's extraordinarily effective in making sure that solid and liquid wastes don't get into surface and groundwater to contaminate them. The contaminants of concern with animal waste are bacteria which can make people sick, along with phosphorus and nitrogen which contaminate surface water. The phosphorus and nitrogen will cause plant growth in the Susquehanna River and the Chesapeake Bay. This plant growth on the surface of the bay will block sunlight from getting to the plants in the bottom, which limits the amount of oxygen in the Chesapeake. As the lagoons fill, manure is extracted to be spread on the fields as fertilizer for the corn. The amount of manure spread is carefully monitored and controlled in order to avoid surface and groundwater contamination. Another area of concern with wastewater actually comes from the silos where corn and other plant material is stored after harvesting in order to feed the cows. The weight of the plant material actually squeezes out water, which flows out of the bottom of the silos. This water is collected in a drain system and directed back into the system which flushes the barns. The concern with this water is its high level of acidity. Any other water that flows from hard surfaces, such as asphalt or a roof, during storm events is either directed towards unpaved ground in order to soak back into the groundwater, or is directed through pipes to areas where it can slowly soak back into the groundwater supply. Any area of exposed surface water, such as a spring or stream, there actually is a little stream in there if you look carefully is protected by an area called a riparian buffer. There's one of these also in the park by the Fun Fort. This keeps manure from entering directly into exposed surface water and getting directly into the river and Chesapeake Bay. The size of the stream and the slope of the land around the stream dictates the size of the riparian buffer. Thanks for watching. And thanks to Meta Vista Farms for letting us check out how they protect our surface and groundwater supplies.